Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a three month forecast for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This is going to be for the next three months. This is being recorded in September, so if you watch it, you know, at the end of September, month number one would be October, month number two would be November, and month number three would be December. Um, if you watch it in the middle of October, you know, it could be for your month number one, it could be for October, it could be for November, you know, whatever. This is a three month forecast. Um, we're just going to see what comes up. This is for Capricorn. What do we have for Capricorn for the next three months? I guess that one is month number one. Month number two. Month number two. Month number three for Capricorn. Month number three. One card right here. Month number one, please. October. Month number two, month number two, month number three. What do we have for Capricorn for month number one? What do we have for month number one? Month number one, month number one. I don't know why I'm flipping. None of these cards are going to be reversed. I'm not doing reversals for this one. I'm so used to flipping, that's all there is to it. Month number two, month number two. Month number two. Month number three. Month number three, please. Month number three. All right, now oh, we need an overall energy. An overall energy for the next three months for Capricorn, please. One card. Overall energy for the full three months for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Oh, we got two. We're not going to take it. Overall energy. I still got two. Maybe I should be taking two. Maybe you're going to be in a new partnership. You know, I just got two a minute ago and I just got two again. And then I think two started out here in October. You know, two cards, two of these came out. So I wonder, something to do with a pair. A partnership of some sort. Hmm. One card, please, for Capricorn. Again, it was two. Oh, my God. Come on now. We're talking about one. One. One card, please. Here it is. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands. So Seven of Wands is about uh, defending yourself. Okay, you may need to defend yourself. You may need to protect yourself. Looks like you're on top. Okay, it looks to me as though you're on top. Um, you got the upper hand here. You do have the upper hand. Um, there's a lot, you may have a lot of people that are against you. Or you maybe feel like you are being attacked. 
maybe maybe you feel like yeah maybe you're like under attack and you got to protect yourself now this doesn't have to be attack it could be you have multiple people after you i don't know what this is but you know i I'll, you know i say i don't know what this is cuz this is a general reading okay so it feels as though there, there's there's a lot of people after your attention and and in some way whether it's negative or positive and it's like you're trying to you know push them off or push them away or protect something you gotta you gotta protect something in the next three months <laughs> You could have multiple people. You know, if you're single, there could be multiple people, or you may feel like you're under attack. That's what I see. This is defensiveness, protection, standing your ground. You do have the upper hand, so keep that in mind. You're on top. You're on top. Um, hmm. Start with month number one. manifestation this is a card of magic you have manifested something this is like the magician it's like you asked for it you're going to you asked for it whatever this is you asked for it whether good or bad you you're you were you were involved and you asked for it so whatever this is treasure island <laughs> well there's a lot of hearts here Okay, and there's abundance. So maybe you asked if maybe you if if you're single, you asked for love. If you're in a coupled relationship, you you may have asked for the perfect match and maybe you've met the perfect match. You know, it looks as though this is I mean, Treasure Island. Take a look at that. That's beautiful. That's that's abundance, that's stability, that's love. Okay. Um there's a lot of emotions here. There is definitely a lot of emotions. So something is going on in October. You asked for something. It's like you're receiving your treasure. That's what it is. You asked for it and you're receiving it. But the Seven of Wands is, you know, guarded perhaps. You may be guarding yourself from this. Hmm. The Unknown card. Page of Swords. Ooh, the Tower. Two of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, and the Chariot. Wherever, whatever's going on, you're headed in the right direction, okay? Somebody may have arrived into your life very, very quickly, you know, or things have grown very, very quickly. I feel as though you guys are going to be making some, this is a decision point, the two of wands. You're going to be making a choice between two, two avenues. And I think that, you know, you're, you may be a little unsure because it looks like you're at this crossroads with the two of wands facing this unknown. It's like you're facing the unknown and it's, it may be a little scary. It may be a little scary. Um, definitely with the tower card, there, there definitely could be some fear here. Maybe that's why your guard is up. Um, this is putting in effort, working really, really hard to obtain stability of some sort. It looks like you're working, um, very precise as well, trying really hard to make something work. But this is a false sense of security. The tower is, this is a false foundation. Um, somebody may be moving, okay, because this is moving, but somebody may be moving home. Um, or moving to a new job, okay, somebody could be moving to a new job this month. Um, this right here is a conflict. This is a mild conflict, the Page of Swords, so you may have some sort of mild conflict at work, okay, there could be a conflict at work, you know, in your, in, at your home or at home, okay. Some place where you spend a lot of time, there may be a conflict, and now you have to make a decision. Do you want to move on from that or do you want to stay there? There is an element of being unknown. The, the unknown card is about not being revealed. The, this, the, 
the the outcome will not be revealed until you make the decision. So this is like an unpredictable situation. It's all in your hands. The, it's in your hands. Whatever is going to happen is in your hands. You choose. You choose the outcome. That's what this is. So this is when you are at that crossroads, but there's fear of the unknown. And you may have to... The chariot is putting yourself in the driver's seat, mastering your emotions, taking control, replacing fear with faith, finding the mental strength to move in the direction that best suits you. So I feel as though October you will be in a place of, it's almost like a place of you're the boss, you're the leader, you choose, you get to choose where you're going, what you're doing, and you will be presented with an option in which you know, you can you can choose to face unknown territory or you can choose to stay in this false sense of security that is, you know, it's like you're biding your time. It's not going to last. So you got you got this choice. You can stay in this situation that is going to fall apart or you can put your effort and your energy into something new. So... I just need to put pause for a second. So, sorry, I just had to cough and I didn't want to cough on screen. Um, anyway, so this right here is, you could be, you could have somebody in your life, could be a child, could be a co-worker, could be a family member, could be a friend, somebody that is causing you to be indecisive, okay? There is indecision here. You know, maybe, maybe you, you know it's like you you do. I think that you do know. I think that you know that you have to make some sort of move. But there's somebody that is uh, causing you to delay. You may be stalling. Uh, and I feel like um, this month you will probably be making a decision to move on from whatever this is. This is making the decision to go in a new direction. To face your fears. So I feel like you are. I think that you are going to be going in a new direction. You may be deciding to work for somebody else. Or work someplace else. Or you know. Let something crumble that isn't stable anyway. That's what it looks like to me. I'm just going to let this go. I'm going to let it wash away. It's, it's not for me. I just want to clarify this decision that you are about to be making. What is this decision in regards to? The Ace of Pentacles could have to do with work, okay, or home, or something tangible, something you can touch. It's like you have this golden opportunity to do something, and this is manifestation as well. It's like you're, you're, this is a gift. It's a gift. So it's like something is being given to you. And in order for you to accept it, in order for you to accept this gift, you're going to have to leave something behind. That's what this is. Because that's what the Two of Wands is. Either you move forward or you stay back. So you're going to be given an opportunity. This is a gift. You probably don't know what it is yet. You haven't seen it yet. Okay? And it feels like it's a very emotional time. It is. I can tell with the water here and there's tears in, in this eye. It's like, it's very emotional. You've been, re, you've been given this opportunity, this golden opportunity. That's what the Ace of Pentacles is. To go someplace else. That's what the chariot is. Oh, look at that. But, you know, I feel as though you guys are really... Tempted, right? You're really, really, really tempted. You may be tempted by somebody who is very, very sexy. Somebody that is very, uh, somebody that you work with, put it that way. You may be tempted with somebody, by somebody that you work with or somebody that shows up at your job or shows up at your, uh, somewhere. Anyway, this, this devil card is a card of lust, it's a card of greed, it's a card of ego, it's a card of materialism. So you're, it's like you guys are holding on to something for all the wrong reasons right here. It is. The tower is a false sense of security. It looks good. It looks really good, but it's unhealthy. 
It is definitely unhealthy. It's toxic. That's what the that's what the devil card is. It's toxic. I feel like you guys are are needing to let go of an unhealthy situation completely and go someplace else. You may be traveling or moving, literally moving or traveling to a new destination. It's like now you're the boss. You have the opportunity. Maybe you're breaking free. October, you're going to receive an opportunity from somebody. You don't you don't know who it is. It hasn't come yet. This opportunity hasn't come yet. I think it's going to spark your curiosity. It really is. And you're going to be very, very tempted. You're going to be very, very tempted to go. This tower, though, that tower is a rude awakening. It's a rude awakening. Something is about to happen. It's a shock. It is a shock. So you may be shocked by this gift or this arrival or whatever it is. You could be receiving money from somebody. Queen of Wands reverse. We're not taking reversals. So we're going to flip it, but we saw it, right? So there you could be dealing with somebody that is greedy, somebody that is, you could be somebody that is greedy, somebody that is selfish, somebody that uh is keeping you stuck. Could be a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. But I feel like this person um it's like you've been working with this person. But I feel like this person, maybe this person is giving up or you're giving up because it did come out reversed. This is finding your confidence, finding your courage to break free from this false sense of security. So this could have to do with a job as well. You guys are, are getting out of something. And I think it's out of, I think that it's, this is going to allow you some sort of freedom. It's going to put you in the driver's seat to go wherever you want. You can now go wherever you want. You are free. You are free. That's what I see. So let's start right here. Manifestation. The wizard is a symbol of magic and manifestation whose power is activated harmoniously through the mind and heart, bridging humanity with the world of spirit. The wizard borrows the power of the universe to direct and enhance energy to a specific task, healing, or outcome. A wise wizard is loving, spontaneous, and transparent. With intelligence and an open heart, the wizard is able to help all people, himself included. The wizard does this by harnessing the power that is all around him. Without expectation, the wizard allows the beauty of magic to come through him rather than trying to control and manipulate it. An open and trusting heart is, refi is a refined tool of perception. Right now, you have the power to manifest your dreams into reality. With pure thoughts and intention, you can create magic in the world around you. I'm going to read that part again. With pure thoughts and intention you can create magic in the world around you allowing energy to flow through you and with ease and with purpose you can create a magical life learn to share your natural gifts with others you are here to help humanity in a positive way refrain from sharing your personal intentions now as they will be easily influenced with others distorted energy you have the power to create and shine your light upon the, upon the world. Examine your thought patterns and energy and amplify your intentions. Positive thought and creativity will bring you closer to your goals one step at a time. Intentions are everything right now. Focus your attention on seeing the magic in all things, including the beauty residing in the darkness. Look toward the stars for guidance. Astrological influences are high right now. Manifest the power of energetic thought and investigate alchemic or al alchemy practices. This will assist you in understanding natural systems such as the elements, nature, medicine, astrology, and life's synchronicities. With the right mindset, you can create and manifest anything. This is a card of manifestation and this one is too. 
So it's like you have manifested something, maybe even subconsciously. With that unknown card, you may have manifested something subconsciously or unconscious. You know, you didn't even know it. You didn't even know it. You've manifested a new, it looks like it's a new path, okay? With the two of wands right next to the chariot. You've manifested a new open doorway, okay? And it feels like this could really bring you some sort of victory, some sort of success. But you're going to have to, you know, you're going to have to let go of something. Because that's what the tower is. That is a cl clinging something out of your life. It really is. Um, somebody that's holding you back, that is unhealthy, somebody or something, needs to be removed so that you can be successful. Whoever this, this is, it, it appears that it, you know, it could be a person. It could be a person. It, it could be a mother. It could be a father. It could, it's definitely a wife, a husband. I don't know who it is, but oh, it could be a co-worker. It could be a boss. Could, somebody that is very prominent in your life that is unhealthy to you. And you've, it's like you've been working with this person and there's, there's nothing... I mean, the tower is something that is, it's going to crumble. It's not stable. It's not solid. It's, there's nothing you can do about it, okay? You can't, you can't fix it. You have to start with a clean slate now. Treasure Island. This is nine, it's a nine. Nines are about closure, coming to the end of a situation. Um... The law of attraction brings dreams into fruition. And you guys have definitely called something in. There is no doubt. The law of attraction brings dreams into fruition. The results of positive thinking made manifest. Abundance appearing as if from nowhere. Something is going to come out of nowhere. You've worked hard and acted upon your unwavering belief in abundance. And suddenly... In the midst of it all, you hit the jackpot. You have uncovered the map to buried treasure and tapped the unlimited potential within you. What you must hone now is your ability to recognize when X marks the spot. Because some of these golden opportunities may be obvious, but others may not be so readily apparent. Trust your intuition to light your way now as you enter this truly prosperous phase where all the long, hard work navigating your inner life is now paying off externally. In all aspects of your life at this time, you have good fortune. Don't forget to enjoy it and share it with others, as treasure shared multiplies like magic. So if you share your abundance, you will get more. And I can vouch for that. Your relationship is a treasure, providing even more than you need. But you may not see that right now. No matter how long you've been together, you and your partner are always discovering hidden gems about yourself and each other. Now is a time of discovery. It's as if you are in sync and everything is new again. A romance blooms and love is in the air. That's why we kept on having twos. It's about a partnership. Love is in the air. You're about to be with somebody that you are probably, whether whether you're with this person now or not, love is absolutely in the air. And it's it's like there's a this it's a, almost like it's a divine partnership. Anyhow, it's as if everything is in sync and everything is new again. Romance blooms and love is in the air. You can be assured that this partnership will bring you great gifts and valuable lessons. Keep your heart open. The message of this card is to celebrate love and what it teaches you. So there's some sort of romance here. Okay. Um, let your guard down by the looks of things. Protect yourself from false sense of security. Pro protect yourself from... Things that uh, aren't stable and secure. And, and let your barrier down for the new things that you have asked for. Okay? You've asked for it. You have. Now you're receiving something. 
Run with it. And I mean run, run, run. You got something beautiful here. Don't let something that is false keep you bound. You got something beautiful. Let's move on to month number two. Month number two. Freedom! What did I tell you? You're free. You are free. And, and if you take a look, I just happened to look at the, the... We have the yin and yang. Okay, so the yin and yang is all about duality and opposites. So opposites attract. Okay, so I feel as though you are... You are and this could be... So you're a Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Cancer that's opposite on the wheel. Okay, you could you could have a cancer that comes into your life or has, and this reminds me of the chariot as well. So I'm not sure if you're dealing with a cancer, but that just jumped out at me. I feel as though this is a month of really coming together with somebody that will help you to grow in a huge way. It's like uh, if you think about the yin and yang, this is about good versus evil, wrong versus right, feminine versus masculine. It's about duality. Okay, and it's about things that need to, you know, you need to have that duality. You need to have that uh, person to compliment. This person can compliment you in uh, ways that you don't even expect. They have what you don't have and you have what they don't have. You know what I'm saying? I feel as though we have some, it looks like we have somebody here that's trying to run away, but we have somebody that is right on their tail. It's like you aren't going nowhere. You're not going nowhere. You're, you know, that's the way it is. Um, what did I do? I picked up that card. Did didn't I? Overall energy was the seven of wands. I do it every time. I've done it with almost every single one. Now I gotta find it. So you guys are, and freedom may be an issue here. You know, maybe maybe you, you, you're you wanting to run free, but you got somebody right after you. Like they are right after your ass. Here and now. Here and now. Right now. Month number two, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Ace of Swords, Five of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, and the King of Wands. So, I feel like month number two is about building a home, building stability, feeling very comfortable, building a connection. Um, it's It's... I'm just looking at these real quick. This is a new idea, taking a new approach. The Ace of Swords. This is an awakening of some sort. You guys are going through some sort of awakening. Life is changing for the better. It really is. It's like you are really the boss now. You are in the lead. You are in the lead. You are the boss. I see you being very, very, very comfortable in November. Like, look, like, 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 almost like gloating. Look at that, like gloating, something to really, really, really be happy about. That's just what I happened to see, what pointed out at me. You guys are definitely moving to a better place. Maybe you're actually moving. You could be moving in month number two. You don't have to be, but this is moving to a better place. It's leaving the coldness behind. It's it's coming out of the storm, it, yeah, leaving the coldness behind. It is. You guys, it goes from the Five of Swords to the Six of Swords. It goes from being defeated, being in crisis, being betrayed to leaving it behind. So you're leaving somebody behind that really betrayed you completely. It's like done, done. Um, whether it's somebody or a situation, that is, it's like, yeah, you have been stabbed. You've been stabbed. You've been hurt. 
and there's tears and there's pain, but you're you're leaving it behind now. Okay, that person's gone. You accept it. I'm moving on. So you guys are moving to a better place. Definitely, you could be moving. Actually, moving home. Some of you, a change in residence. Um, this right here, the Ace of Swords. This is good fortune. You could be receiving a gift, like I saw saw in the other one. Um, this is a cycle that is ending. Um, whatever has happened has brought you closer to your life's purpose. This is, um, this can mean so many things, but this is a new idea, taking a new approach. That's what I see here. It's like, you're not, you're not blocking it anymore. It's like, you're not staying stuck. You're actually, you're, you're, you're using your free will. Okay. This is a card of free will and destiny. You are using, you're not, you're not trying to control it. It's like, I'm, I'm letting it happen. I'm letting it happen. I think that you have been trying to control it, but I don't think that you are now. It's like, you're ready to just go with the flow. You're ready for this change. You're ready for, you know, to step right into your power. So I feel like this is going to be a very powerful month for you. I do. I feel like you are leaving behind a very painful situation where you were defeated, you were betrayed, you were hurt, you were stabbed it in the back, and this person doesn't seem to care at all. Okay? This person is just doesn't give a shit. Okay? Doesn't care at all. It's like they don't care. They're leaving you. They don't care. So whoever you're dealing with has, has really hurt you, and it's like you're just, you're gone. You're done with it. That's what I see. I feel like November is a month of, this is a lucky break. This is something good coming. This is good luck. This this was a lucky break because now you have your power back. Now you now you are in control. Now you're the boss. Now you're free. This is this is definitely a month of freedom. Um, being having the power in your own hands. Nine of Swords, that's what just flipped over. So this is stressed. But I think it's the end because if you, if you, if I was going to put it, I was clarifying this one. You've been stressed. You haven't been able to sleep much. You haven't been sleeping much. Things have, you've been depressed. You've been worried. But then if you take this one and you add it to the nine, it's, <clears throat> it's the ten of swords. It's the end. It's the end of stress. It's the end. It's the end of this depressing situation. It is. The end. Ten of pe the wheel of fortune. And then, then this I consider this the ten of swords. The worst is over. It's like you are going to a new destination. You are headed towards a better place. This is a reward. You're going to get some sort of reward. Three of Wands. And you know, the Three of Wands is get prepared. Something is arriving. This is an arrival, the Three of Wands. So something is arriving. And I see that you're, you, you're waiting for it, right? You're waiting for it to arrive. It's going to arrive. This is good fortune. Something is going to arrive for you. Or something has arrived. It may have arrived in October. So now November, you're, I think it's, you're not going to be focusing on this pain, this hurt anymore at all. I think you're going to be building a home, feeling very comfortable. I think there's been the end of some sort of relationship, whether it's at work or somewhere that they think that relation, this is a completion of a relationship that, you know, may have put you in crisis, may have put you in a, a feeling of, uh, defeated may have something may have defeated you and it's like you're moving on from it and you're receiving some sort of reward that you did not expect and that i think that probably it either i think it may happen in october but in november it's the end of suffering king of pentacles we're not taking reversals but i feel like you guys that maybe you didn't have money or there was a lack of money or there's a lack of work or something like that. I'm just going with the reverse that I saw. But now I think you, that things are about to look up. This is you being in control, being disciplined. You having the control back. Being back in your power, like I said. Business-oriented. Solid and... S solid and stable. 
stability is coming back to your life. So November, I feel like November looks really, really, really good. We're going to start right here. Freedom. Wild and free, the horse chooses to run in any direction at its own pace. Understand that everything in your life right now is completely within your power to change. Once you cooperate with your soul's request to be free from emotional or physical ties, you become limitless and can run free again. The arrival of the horses brings news of personal journeys in new directions. You could be dealing with somebody that has horses. The arrival of the horses brings news of personal journeys in new directions. The white horse brings truth, honor, and integrity. And the dark horse brings the shadow of mystery, pride, and illusion. Bringing both together to create a yin-yang balance allows you to understand what is preventing your freedom. Follow through with your agreements before you make new commitments. You may feel that you are not in control of your life right now. In fact, you are. You can decide at this moment to react to the circumstances within your environment. Observe your surroundings and discover what your soul really wants. You already have the power and freedom to choose within you. The question is, what direction do you wish to run in? Honor your free will by choosing to acknowledge your desire for a break and a change even if it is your only temporary. Right now, your soul desires freedom. By removing restrictions, you can move in any direction. Feeling trapped or burdened by family affairs, responsibility, finance, relationships, and or career choices can sometimes make us feel suff suffocated. Your soul is trying to release you from commitments as you learn for the as you yearn for the freedom to make your own choices. Breaking away from old attachments and responsibilities, your soul is asking you to be playful and to have some fun. You are. I think that you are breaking free from something. Totally moving to a better place. Totally. Here and now. Here and now. Being fully present in the moment. Living one day at a time. Everything happens in the now, in the present. Only this moment counts. You have what it takes to handle anything today. If you let go of the need to look into the future or reflect on the past... Be present and notice what is going on right now. This very moment has the potential for you to create miracles in your life. It is easy to yearn for a love affair or a friendship that may not have that you may not have right now. That's easy, right? It's easy. One one that is more romantic, more fun, more reliable, more passionate. The good old days are gone and a new day has dawned. Let your heart trust, and that's why this is here, because you're guarded and you're in defense mode. you got to let down the guard. Let your heart trust that you have everything you need right now, whether you have the relationship you desire or not. Tomorrow is beyond your reach. Yesterday cannot return. The now is all that is available to you right now. Stay present and aware that in this moment, as you cherish and approve all of your beautiful self, you are a magnet for love. Spirit is madly in love with you right now. Did you know that? Turn to spirit. Feel the joy of love in the here and now. This The next three months is about love for you. I know that it is. Focus on right now. Especially in month number two and right now, okay? Right now. Focus on right now. Where's that past? I need to read that one again. Yesterday cannot return.
so what I see for month number two is you're gonna you're gonna be writing your glory. I can see that. It's it is a time of freedom, focusing on the now and receiving something. Okay, you receive it in October, I believe. And it and it, it just it feels or before, even even before October. Maybe maybe you received it months ago, whatever it is. I think that now you should be getting prepared for, you know, whatever is meant to be because and let go, let go, let go because the the suffering, the suffering is over. Okay? The suffering is in the past. Let's move on to month number three. Month number three. I, I, I went and let the cat in. I'm sure you heard her crying the whole time. Self-love, month number three. And now this starts with your inner child. You see the child there? Self-love starts from within. It's healing that child within you. Building blocks. Building blocks. You're going to be building something by the looks of things. One step at a time. Eight of Cups. The Star. The Hermit. Seven of Pentacles, the Lovers, which I could have told you that, and the Ten of Swords. Talked about that one already for November, but so December we have the Lovers. This is a, this is your unexpected choice in love, okay? Wish fulfillment. You asked for it. You asked for this connection. This is a dream come true. This is this is what you asked for. You asked for this connection. But this is a the, the hermit is is thinking over analyzing it perhaps. You may be over analyzing the whys, the hows. Is this too good to be true? This is over analyzing. This is th this is the end of suffering. Your wish has been granted, Capricorn. But you're thinking about it, right? You're, you think, 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 overanalyzing the connection. Now, this Eight of Cups, this is emotional disappointment. Leave that old, see the old pain here. We got old pain. We still, we got some old pain, which is making you think. It's making you wonder. This is Seven of Pentacles. It's making you wonder whether you should... Give this person a chance, give uh, uh, or you know, move forward with this person. You did this is a this is an unexpected choice in love, or it's love that is blossoming, it's growing. This is a partnership that is meant to be at this time in your life. This is something you asked for. This is a dream come true. This is a true blessing that you are thinking about and thinking. You're over analyzing the connection, and you're over analyzing it because of the previous pain. Wondering, is this worth it? Is this, this seems like it is too good to be true, right? This person's just going to leave me. If I, if I get my heart invested, they're just going to break my heart. Right? Right? That's what we got here. You know, very guarded. It's like you're, you, you definitely have this barrier up that needs to come down. You know, there's a feeling of of isolation. It's like you isolate yourself and you push people away, people that love you. I think there's somebody here that really, really, really cares about you. There's a deep connection with another person. But you need to stop thinking that the previous pain is going to be repeated. This person is not the same person that you dealt with. They are not. This is love heals. Love, this is. This person can help you to heal. This person has been hurt as well as you guys can help each other to heal. 
It's a healing love. So Capricorn, I feel like December is a, a time where you actually need to walk away from the pain for good, for good, for good, for good, for good, for good. Leave that emotional disappointment behind for real. Stop giving it your energy. Chariot. You guys, some of you are dealing with a cancer for sure. Move on. Move. Maybe you're thinking about, maybe you're relocating or you're thinking, or you are, this is a relocation, this is relocation. You may be relocating. This is being in the driver's seat, taking the high road, going to a new place. There's no, there's no more growth wherever you've been. Dealing with some opposition, opposing thoughts by the looks of things as well. You're definitely dealing with opposition in many areas of your life. It's like you have this love connection here that is divine. It is divine. This is a divine love connection. But you're overanalyzing it because of your previous pain. The chariot is about mastering your emotions and putting yourself in the in the driver's seat. This could lead to victory and success. This whole scenario could lead to success. If you can replace fear with faith. Okay? Replace fear with faith. Oh, this one just fell out. Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is about being tested. This is a test. Take your time. You don't need to rush into it, but I wouldn't discard it. You have a love connection here that, that in time could grow into something so solid, so stable. Could be with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be with, you know, we've got Virgo here. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Gemini. We have Cancer and Aquarius. This is move forward. Do it. Just do it. Just take baby steps if you have to. Just do it. Don't stall. Don't delay. Just do it. Do it slowly. Take your time. This is a test. You are going to be tested. You're tested about... It looks like your prayers have been answered. Your prayers have been answered by somebody that... can take care of you somebody that will somebody that will really protect you really protect you i mean this person will protect you they will stick up for you but it looks to me like you have to you have to do something you have to do something with this Knight of Pentacles. You have to take some sort of action. You have to stop stalling. I see the stalling. You, you, you're stalling. Stalling this person. Doing the same old thing, right? But this is a test. A test of love. You deserve to be loved. You deserve to be loved, Capricorn. That is what this is. You deserve to be loved. I know that's what this is. We're going to read this one. You're, it's like you're stalling this person. Maybe you don't know your value. You have been totally... Well, that is very painful. Look at this card. I mean, it feels like you have, you've really done a lot of bleeding, right? Your heart is, has been done for, right? 
It's been shredded. It's It's been really shredded. It's going to take a lot of inner strength to let this person love you. Self-love. Your inner child is an aspect of the self, reminiscent of all that you have learned and experienced. Free, spontaneous, creative, and full of wonder. Your inner child longs to be in a state of joy, but also requires nurturing, attention, and constant reassurance. And, yeah, constant reassurance. Your inner child fear, feels... I can't even speak. Your inner child feels these extremes of emotion because they lack understanding of why particular circumstances have occurred. You can shift long-standing emotional patterns by working with your inner self, resolving problems, trauma, and issues that have that you have found challenging and difficult to address. While you may have grown up quickly or had a limited childhood absent of opportunities and experiences, the inner child is an aspect of you that requires love and attention, even as an adult. Emotions are powerful, like children. Adults manipulate, rebel, throw tantrums, and can also put on a brave face for the sake of others. To create a, a symbolic relationship, you, the parent, and your inner child must work in agreement of security, safety, acceptance, and surety. Acknowledging that you have, that you have been wounded in the first, is the first step in shifting your mindset. These, these, this pain that, you, that your heart has felt can go all the way back to your childhood. Self-love is essential right now as there is a child within, a child within you, needing parental help and advice. Grieving for the past or circumstances that we did not understand at the time, no matter how old you were, is now necessary. You need to let yourself grieve. Helplessness, confusion, or feeling overwhelmed can trigger Childlike behavior such as tantrums, manipulation, and rebellion, an attempt to get what you want. Take the time to be playful and curious. Be courageous and learn the power of no. It will shield you away from pushy people seeking to compromise your values and integrity. If you were to see the little you right now, what sage advice would you give knowing what you know today? You need to nurture that child within you. I, I, you definitely have somebody here that can help you to heal. You, you you need them. And I and I don't like to say that. And you need you need to love yourself. You do. You need to nurture that child. But there is somebody here that can help you. Don't block them. I blocking is an issue here. Building blocks. Oh, yeah, it is. Building blocks. Yeah, you... that, And I didn't even get that until I picked the card up. I seriously did not. And then once I said it and I looked at my, what was in my hand, that's what happened. You have... Blocking is an issue. Blocking is absolutely an issue. I know that it is. Uh, trying to protect yourself because of the past. Past abandonment issues all the way from childhood. Strong foundations. A beautiful work is in progress. 
You have everything you need to cultivate an extraordinary life. This is a time when you focus needs to be on the foundations you build upon. Your work, your relationships, and your very being are underwritten by your values, ethics, morals, and core beliefs. Are they still true for you? Will they stand the test of time and serve as the solid grounding? <laughs> stand of, that's what this is. This is, this is the test of time. Will they stand the test of time and serve as the solid grounding upon which you construct your life? Now you are making changes that will affect everything in a positive way. Your destiny is truly a remarkable and beautiful design. When you see this card, know that you are attracting new relationships into your life and solidifying the ones you already have by building them on the foundations of honesty, humility, clear communication, and a genuine desire to know one, one another. You are moving toward laying the groundwork for a relationship with the firm footing that will ensure it can withstand any storm. Long-standing relationships are also repaired and strengthened. You and the other person are stronger, wiser, and more powerful together than apart. Look at me, I got my hand on my heart. <laughs> Anyhow, um, there is a, there's building a foundation here. You are building a foundation with somebody. You deserve it. Leave, you know, do all, all that you can to heal, heal, heal that inner child. You're going to have to find the emotional strength to nurture yourself and let somebody love you. So December is a month of building a foundation. I think this person is already comes into your life before December. If not, they may show up in December, but I think they come in before December. December is a month of building, healing. This is a healing love. Good luck.